Hi guys, hope you're well. It's a beautiful day snowing out here. I thought I'd do a really quick video on the difference between frost nip and frost bite. It seems really adequate at this type of day. So frost nip and frost bite are very different. If they come up in a medical exam question, you need to understand the difference between how they present and how they might be managed. So frost nip is the milder of the two, I'd suggest. It's when you get pain, pallor, numbness, on an extremity, like a, a finger, for example, there's no actual tissue damage. That's a really important point. There's no tissue damage in frost nip and rewarming slowly is usually all that's needed to settle it. This is very different to frost bite. In frost bite, you actually get tissue damage. So you get freezing of the tissue itself and this leads to microvascular occlusion. Now, once you get microvascular occlusion, if this carries on, then it can lead to necrosis and ultimately things like gangrene can develop. And that's why it's a much more serious condition or situation than frost nip. Now to reverse frost bite is a little bit more difficult. You have to think about slow rewarming, thawing out essentially, and it can be a very painful process. So really make sure when you get a question on frost nip or frost bite, make sure you know the key differences. And the main thing to remember is that you get freezing of tissue in frost bite but you don't get freezing of tissue or tissue damage when it comes to frost nip. We have so much more clinical based teaching for things like AKT, MSRA, PLAB, medical school exams on the website, auroramedicaleducation.co.uk. Don't forget to use the code AuroraVideo10 for 10% off anything on the website in terms of clinical based teaching, online courses, audio courses, live courses, and so much more. Hope you're having a great day in the snow. If this is what it's looking like for you today, hashtag campus will pass, hashtag I went with Aurora, frost nip versus frostbite. Have a good day.